just answering a set of assertions posted on my channel. Here we go. Someone says, I've considered the killing of Christina Duarte as an assassination. Victim number nine is the listing the person's using. In order to prove it, I went through the coroner's report to find her and other victims. What was your initial reasoning to decide it has to be an assassination rather than a person being randomly hit? Counterpoint, of course, was that uh, Christine Duarte is related to somebody who's, who works in the DA's office in Los Angeles, also related to a person who's a uh, apparently a sports team player. There's no reason to go searching for this, but okay. The Fit Report, page 33, a video listed below that ends in NSM, and the coroner's report for each victim are the things to combine for doing this, apparently, to deliberately prove something you're setting out with. Okay. All four victims in this listing, as listed on this, have been hit in a horizontal line. No. Uh, that's reference to the body itself. The position of each person, it depends. Some people, it looked like the bullet went straight down through them, so people are saying, well, that was a helicopter. No, they were leaning in towards the Mandalay Bay because they were ducking behind something looking at the Mandalay Bay. Other people were running away from Mandalay Bay and crouching forward and got hit horizontally. Other people got an angle that matches the Mandalay Bay shooting area. The body position at the time of being struck will be different than when it was found. Or you don't like this answer? Okay. They were all horizontal sh hits for the number four, so it had to be somebody shooting. Okay. Where were they when they were shot and what was the exact moment and what is the surrounding conditions in a full circle? Were they all shot from the same angle? If you're going to base it on the resting position, you can find all sorts of angles, right? So that means dozens of shooters or was it all from one basic angle? M most people are right-handed and they have a dominant leg and a dominant way of falling. Uh, depending on where you're hit, you're going to fall a certain way. Whether it's above or below the waistline, you'll change positions. These are things that have to be looked into to figure out the original position of a person's body. Did you do this? Within 4 inches and vertical 20 inches. I'm not sure what that's referring to exactly, but okay. Um, again, the angle the bullet came in through is dependent on what angle their body was in look at the distance and ratios for the sh angle the bullets were coming in at. I believe that four inches to a moving target is skilled. This brings the fuel tank shots into new perspective now because we have five shots that require some training. No they don't. If you shoot into a group of people that are holding still and they start moving and you shoot at them and then they start ducking for cover you're going to get a very bizarre grouping of bullet hits and no one's counting the misses hitting the ground. You're not counting out, I mean, half the shots didn't hit anybody. And a tenth of them were lethal. Or ended up being lethal. Roughly. He shot into a group of people that were tightly packed. Because he was looking for the number of people at each venue. Heck, maybe even pick this specifically because it was a smaller area with a larger number of people that day. I don't know. You don't either, most likely. We do not have five shots that require that he be a, a trained sniper. Um, I will volunteer to be the amateur geek. Uh, give me the gun with the uh, with. Give me a thousand rounds in 100 round groups, 10, 10 magazines and I will get up exactly the same distance above the ground and shoot at a target grouping in the same area and shoot at everything. And you can put them in different positions and pack them the same packing. I will. I volunteered to do this. Somebody wants somebody to do this as an arbitrary person. It's not that complicated. I'll do it with my glasses off. I'm nearsighted. I can't see anything more than a couple of feet away from my face in focus. You don't aim, you just fire. 
This can be proven. It is trivial to prove this. It's not a new perspective on the fuel tank shots. Those were done with a scope. Most of the bullets came out of weapons that didn't really need to have a scope. It used a, a ghost sights, I think they're called. Another person posted, why don't we have a single bullet hit hitting any buildings? And of course there's a bunch of YouTube videos saying, well we have a bullet hit hitting a building, therefore... You do. That There are bullet hits hitting buildings. Um, if the video below isn't designed to lie to people, it will be linked. Otherwise, I will remove the HTTP front part of it and you'll have to cut and paste it. Sorry. I'm not directly linking to fake news stories at all. I won't. I always do it through an archive, or if it's a YouTube video, I chop off the front part of it, or I re-upload the video without the uh, dramatic music and snarky comments, like I did with the uh, September 11th proof of uh, nanothermite silly putty on an another video. But anyway, I'll leave your link data here if it's, uh, if it's valid, but um, there's a reference to the bodies uh, I would be surprised if there weren't aberrations in this. This has already been covered by uh, Mr. Visual. So I don't understand why you bothered posting this. But thanks for posting it, I guess. Thanks for watching.